Hello, my fellow Americans and fellow Christians. Thank you for joining me today. Peace be unto you, and may there be peace in our world. Trembling, I write my dream and recollect a fearful vision at the midnight hour. For new. My fellow Americans, the shadowed social order of Trump and evangelicalism today has the same resemblance of Puritanism and the social order of the Protestant churches of the 1930s. Both employed politics to promote the gospel, just as our evangelicals do today. One particular reason for their adoption of politics was due to the fact fascism was showing apparent success in Germany and Italy during the Great Depression. They pursued not Christ, but an adoption of Christian principles in the political realm as we see today. For they believe that their ideals should be of a capitalistic social order. This was documented in the Christian Century, January 4, 1933. There were 17 articles citing practical applications for the social well-being of the country and calling for a complete reconstruction of the economic order, which we see Trump doing today. The same shadowed spirit rests still today in the current evangelical world. The political evangelicals of our time in the Trump administration are in the same breath of those of the 1930s evangelicals, for it sees itself as favorable to the public order by social means. Instead of fighting against darkness, sin, wickedness, and listen to this, and the violent actions of our time through the Spirit of Christ and His words, the love of thy neighbor. It need not be pointed out that the capitalistic social security of FDR is still implemented today, which the church played no role whatsoever in during the 1930s. Just as today evangelicals have made numerous predictions and have their own applications to what should come to pass and what should be done in this nation, just as the leaders of the 1930s and those leaders of the 1930s were completely inadequate in predicting World War II except for the visions of Our Lady of Fatima. It need not be pointed out that their complete involvement in politics perhaps blinded the nation to the coming dark times and the chaos of World War II. We should be reminded that perhaps if the Christian ministers of the 30s had followed Christ instead of politics, the Spirit of Christ would have emphatically warned of impending war. And if in our time the evangelicals would not have been touting and priding themselves over President Trump, perhaps we would not be living in a day and age of complete civil unrest and chaos. Shakespeare wrote, The motions of his spirit are black as night, and his affections dark as Erebus. Erebus was a god in Greek mythology, said to be born out of chaos, a personification of darkness and shadows. Erebus was also the name for a region of the underworld on the way to Hades. Erebus had the ability to cover the world in darkness and shadows. There is no question we are living in a time of shadows and chaos as we see it daily on our television sets. The current administration conflicts with the minority groups of the free press, immigration and the social freedom to choose one's own path on a daily basis. The Trump administration uses the political system of executive order constitutional and judicial systems as a formula to control and reshape society. The result is a complete breakdown of a strong and effective political assembly as we have seen just recently. 
The clash of politics is due to the current administration making an explicit plea that the dictatorial ideals it employs is in the national interest. This has resulted in the intolerable degree of chaos and unrest in our time. The witness is the true slang of American politics for a capitalistic, social, fascist order of control. We are in the midnight hour of losing the American political system and the political evangelicals have made the case. Their inordinate love of a president over Christ and their love of politics over the Holy Spirit within their soul has shouted loudly they will do anything to keep, keep a social Christian political order. The leaders have gone as far as citing a civil war will take place if the current political system seeks the president's demise. They have attempted to give the citizens of America a stiff dose of social religion, loving the Wall Street and Park Avenue converts of the world, rather than a devotion to Christ and his message to a distraught nation. Their affections are as dark as a rebus. They are shadowed by Revelation 18, Babylon the Great, in which all their followers call them overseers. We truly are finding out what beasts have infected our land. The political evangelical seeks to climb up another way to heaven than that which Christ has written in the hearts. Evangelicalism today is stiff-necked and brazenly speaks the name of Christ as despotic lords. The case is clear. Tyranny is here, not only in politics, but religion. But chained and imprisoned on a burning soil for the mean avarice of a tyrant toil. For new. No. We are living in an age of darkness and shadows. The scourge of politics reveals it, and a corrupt religion seals it. The preservation of the nation is at stake. There is not only warfare of the spirit, but a warfare to control a nation. Nations prosper most when they are governed least. Our politics concludes our statesmen are enslaved, minds secluded in party, standing proud over our free society. Those who question the seriousness of the hour, all one has to do is notice the politics of the current administration demonstrates it is not at liberty to discuss questions openly. It seeks its own answer. It denies any individual the liberty to openly criticize and oppose. The ideal from the beginning has been to control ideas opposite the administration's goals. It continues to silence the press and characterize it as an enemy of a free nation. The current administration favors censorship over compromise and discussion, desiring an absolute authority over the country and the progressive ideas it has cherished. On the other hand, evangelicalism has significantly made it clear it is not for moral liberty of the nation as well. It seeks a social, moral control and influence through the state. The exact opposite of the liberty of the Spirit of Christ. Christ in the Gospel allowed the free and intellectual liberty of individuals to choose their own path after they listened to him. He never sought control or used politics to compel people to believe. This freedom is now challenged by the Christian leaders in the Trump administration. They desire an evangelical monopoly of religion over the masses, destroying the intellectual integrity of Christ through political religion. In essence, they are an enemy of the true following of Christ, a heretical sect outside the will of God. I dare to stand alone in the defense of Christ, protecting his reputation and honor. And I perhaps should ask all those who listen to stand alone with me, that we may once again not only have a true following of Christ, the love of neighbor in this nation, but a political system 
that is blessed by God. God bless you and God bless the United States of America.